I think that it's the most mysterious thing, acting, uh, and the people who can really do it. The thing that characterizes them every time, all of them, is that they won't and can't talk about it. They won't go near it. And who can blame them? Would you? Would I? No. Because you're afraid it's going to go away. You stay the hell away from it. But what's happening on this, something that really gets to me, because it's a great, it's an amazing cast. Every single person in it is a great actor. There it is. It's true. And um, it's the way they work together that really gets to me in rehearsal, because it's like a great a group of, of jazz musicians. If one changes the melody a little bit, the, one, the others immediately shift and change and go with him or her. And to see it from day to day is, is very inspiring for me and exciting. And, and there's less and less for me to do because they don't make mistakes. It's very unnerving. <laughs> and what I began to see as we physicalized it, as we began to do some of the scenes, physically, the, the, the ball throwing and so forth. The, the guys are three athletes. So that's, so that's sort of our contribution, that they really are what they say in the play. When they throw that ball, when I first saw them holding their pages and throwing the, the football and catching it with one hand and turning a page and throwing it while not even looking and the other guy catches it and turns his page, I thought this will be one of the things that we offer it because they're they are athletes. They're not just Jews wrangling. <laughs> and, <laughs> and since they keep talking about that in the play, it makes a real difference. And, and I thought, well, we can earn this. We can, we can feel that we have a right to do this, too. I, I'll never get You once told me, and it seems simple, but I don't think it's all that simple. You once told me that um, plays are all about getting people in the right place on the stage. And it sounds like a simple thing, but how do you decide what the right place is on the stage for each of the performers? Well, there's only one question, I think, when you do a play, which is what's happening? What, for, what happens first, and then what happens, and what happens after that? And when you've found what happens, because the glory of a play is that it shows something that isn't specified. There's dialogue, and there is our events. Kazan said that directing is finding the events of the play, or creating, Ilya the director Kazan. creates the events of the play, and that's absolutely true. What are they doing? What is it a clue to? What is underneath what they're saying? And when you find it and create it, it's very exciting because it's why we can't give up the theater. Because it's like a thousand people or 300 people, depending on the kind of theater, sitting in the dark, all seeing something happening that isn't named. And that takes you back to all the crucial games that you play with the children that are part of their development. The game that you have to play with all children. Have you seen him? No, I don't know. Maybe he went downtown. I think he's in, there he is. That game, which is so much fun and they love it. They also need it. I never realized that until a psychologist friend of mine told me, no, it's, it's necessary for development because it teaches them that when mommy or daddy are not there, they still exist like they do when you're talking about them as being gone. It's part of learning, all the things they're learning. And it's a very important part for us, this apprehending of events that are not named. It's part of being a human being. It's part of managing your life and looking for the names that help you through certain things. And so in a weird way, it's an important part of our spiritual life, the people who love the theater. <laughs>